Right, I'm going down a little lane now. I can't remember what it's called. I missed the sign. Uh, it's uh, an old levels lane. It's probably more busy. And I used to come down here years ago on my bike. I've driven down here once in Alberta. I said I'd never do it again. Because it's so narrow and there's deep ditches each side. And people have been known to um, die in these ditches where they can't open the doors of their car. So, um, I'm doing a little bit of video as best I can. So this is over Rooks Bridge. I remember looking for a home over here many, many years ago. 30 years plus. We thought about moving out here. I'm glad I didn't notice. It's a bit too remote. So, did have, it's still got a pub. Southwest Housing Society. Oh, they've got some... Pill Road, that's right, that's what this is called, Pill Road. Oh yeah, look, there's this key workers that someone's made images of. These are people that look after people. Uh, hello there, key workers. Uh, this wasn't here when I came. Last time I came here was over five years ago. None of this was here. Now, end house, there might have been an end house, maybe. But this is Pill Lane. It gets more narrow further up. And although you, but well, obviously, you really don't want to meet anyone if you're on this side, because you've got to go up the bank. <sighs> now, I was very nervous. It was further up I got nervous. Um, and I said I'd never drive Alberta here again. And uh, what it was. Not long after that, somebody did, two people died, I think. <sighs> uh, or is it, it could have been, no, there were three people in a Jeep. Land Rover type thing. And um, maybe they were coming back from the pub, who knows. <sighs> but I've got a feeling somebody died. But I, there has been known people get knocked unconscious and then they drown. They, they don't wake up. Anyway, that's a bit of a bleak area. There's Brent Knoll again. Like I said, we'll see a lot of Brent Knoll on this cycle because it's going to be the big reference point and Crook's Peak for my whole cycle adventure. Uh, I haven't cycled here for over five years. Could be eight years. I'm not sure the last time without looking at the old videos. <sighs> Now on the way back, we should have the wind behind us. It's an east wind, so it's blowing across me at the moment. <sighs> right at me. But it's not freezing. <sighs> I've put a scarf back on just to take the edge off a bit. I've seen swans and stuff along here before. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Me just said that and the swans came into view. There they are, down there. There's the swans, look. Somebody else coming by on their bike. I'll just stop here, not too close to them. Hold on a minute. Then I can do a sweep round. There's the swans. Yeah. Somebody coming on their bike there. There's lovely views here though. I'll just zoom round, wait a minute. Zoom round over there. And there's we've got Crook's Peak right over there, look. Look, it's getting further away now, isn't it? It was quite, it's always been quite a way off, but uh, remember, a couple of weeks back, say three weeks, could be four weeks now, I don't know, I stood on the sofa there. There's ponies up there. So I'm getting around folks. I'm doing my exercise, keeping the blood clots at bay. It's a beautiful scene here. I'm just gonna stop now and take some pictures because it is so beautiful. And it's nice and warm. Over and out. Alright, these are the all round you in front of me are the levels. Eventually Glastonbury Tour will come into view. 
There's bread doll, reference points. I can see um, a church at Mark. I won't be going near that today. I'm not going that way today. Um, where's it gone? Oh, it's gone now. I saw it a minute ago. Oh, that was strange. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. That's the church at Mark. I've done all that. I've been in there loads of times. Um, it's a beautiful countryside, everyone. This is the Somerset level, so I should be doing quite a bit of cycling. It's going to get difficult when I've got to use the battery charger, unfortunately. The swans are back there. That's a lovely... That, see that cow partially there? That's the one you mustn't touch. When it's big like that, that's the one that can cause you blisters and an awful allergic reaction. I've bought antihistamine cream with me. I bought a new tube. So you do tend to start getting the stings soon. Um, you'll get the horse flies and all that. So this is my beautiful Somerset. Cheddar Gorge right over there. Look, I'll just zoom in. I haven't been able to go out there this year yet. Um, I have been out there this year. I tell a lie, I have been out here. When I've been doing one of my walks from Winscombe back to Cheddar, I would have touched upon the gorge. I did quite a lot before Christmas up there anyway. Right, I'm going to try and do a little bit more videoing along this pill lane. Hold on. Oh, I thought I saw a heron. No, it wasn't. So for my followers all over the world, for my YouTube subscribers, for my Facebook fans, insomniacs, and for those who get a bit bored, I do try to vary it. Here's one of the many rains that Somerset has to stop us flooding. Perfect cycling country, Somerset is, for obvious reasons. It's flat, it's marshy, it's not really suitable for a lot of building, not really. I mean, they do risk it some places. Yeah, I have been out in different weathers, actually, because I can remember getting, I had a coat on that I've learnt, I've learnt a lot about getting the right sort of coat to wear uh, if you need to put a coat on because you can sweat and it's more wet outside than in more no more wet inside than out so what it is i'm going towards the village of mark eventually it zigzags across um and i'll be going near a I can't remember the name of the pub now. It's so long since I've been out here. It's over five years since I've cycled here. I'm older, of course. Uh, I'm glad I can still do it. I was a bit concerned that this might be beyond my abilities, but we're being encouraged for exercise. I do take my time. People might think I'm an old plodder. But I am an old plodder. I'm not 20, 30, 40 or 50. I'm doing it at my pace. And I haven't got a racing bike. And I don't want one. And I've carried first aid. I carry um, plenty of water. I carry food. I carry a waterproof jacket. Hard luck if it pours now. But it is the summer. I don't tend to cycle far anyway in the winter months. The cold hair, air and the winds, freezing winds, don't agree with my lungs. But you will get bikers out here who've got the camera on their hat and who will show you a completely different view. These are all solar panels in this field, by the way. Obviously, I would go much quicker if I wasn't videoing, but I've got to do it. I've got to try and steer the bike with one hand, don't forget. And I thought I would do a, a decent video along here. 
because there's no vehicles, hardly any vehicles, and uh, there's not many bends. Um, it's quite a straight little lane. Like I said, it scared the life out of me when I drove my van along here once because I couldn't see. I knew there was a ditch each side of me. No, I said I'd never, ever do that again, and I didn't. I never, but a bike, fine. Absolutely fine. Now, in theory, I've got a feeling before I turn off in a minute, right, there's a gate. I might stop there, have a drink of water and a little bit of nourishment. So this is Sheila. May the 18th, 19th, 20th even. I really don't know. Could be 17th. I just don't know. Oh no. I'm going to pull in at this gate here and have a very small break. Now we follow, we follow on, but I'm still going to stop here. Hold on. So I'll be carrying on there. So I think there's another gate and I can just see a cyclist. Yes, there's beautiful views. You've got to capture on video. Like, like I said, I've got it on a, probably a very inferior camera, by the way. It would have been a very inferior camera. Um, but it would still have been what I always say for posterity and a moment in time captured with certain events going on in the world and things like that. So there's Crook's Peak again. I'm just going to remind people of the reference points. Up there you can see all this beautiful Somerset. Cheddar Gorge straight ahead of me. There's the quarry. Go over a bit. There's Cheddar Gorge there. It's going right up there now. So I'm not going to stop here for a drink. I'm going to carry on a bit further. Over and out.